Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. Before I knew I you put your hog rider down, and then they're, I'm pretty sure they're gonna use something to counter it. Probably minions or a minion horde, and that show will kill a minion horde and the minions. We're talking about Clash Royale. What's going on, guys? Akapuka here with another video. I'm going to an All American Reject concert with this food right here. What's up? Hey, Live yeah. like yummy here. <laughs> and these guys are driving us. So yeah, I'll probably put I didn't in know some. Two people could drive. It's fucking amazing, bro. Dude, it's called tandem. <laughs> that was called London. That's <laughs> called a one-way trip to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, I'll probably put in some clips of the concert and uh, That's pictures right. of the concert get after. Sued, get sued for copyright. I know, right? Don't sue me. I like Let's you guys, it. okay? You're not even looking at the camera. I know, right? I'm looking at the camera now. No, you're not. The camera's on the other side of the phone. <laughs> shut the fuck We're up. on the other side of the street. <laughs> this is a freeway, sir. So you can shut up with that noise. Yeah, I'll oh, just yeah. put I'll put the clips now. Update. We're not at the freaking concert yet because we we live far away from it, seriously. But uh yeah, we're getting lit. Right, Tony? We're listening to some crazy old ass song. With a drink, with a drink. We drunk in, we drunk in I don't know. She thinks I'm cool. A drink, I wink back. And then I think back. We go let fun in the spot. Alex, get lit. It means go crazy. I don't know. Do something. Move. Do a flip. <laughs> the car. The car flips. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll I'll up you. I'll flippy. date you later. Flippy. What the fuck? What's going on, guys? I'm back here for the update. Holy shit! Sorry for the shaking. Uh, what's it called? But yeah, I'm here for the update that I said I would do in the video, and. Um, just know this is like late night the next day i was just so tired so dead after the concert <laughs> because uh let me just explain okay the concert was just badass i loved every little second of it it was just amazing to see my favorite band live it was just i'm so grateful for the opportunity and uh you know i almost didn't even go because i had a cabaret to go to and you know i kind of just went out on the whim and just said you know I, I have to go to this show <laughs> if I don't it's it's a disservice to me and you know hard work I've done and you know it's like the closest opportunity I've ever had to see them even though I've had other opportunities to see them which kind of just kind of fell down the whole you know how life kind of gets in the way sometimes but yeah so there's that but yeah let me just explain how I got the tickets in the first place so I'm scrolling through Facebook like any other normal teenager, you know, when I'm bored. And I just see this little thing that the All American Rejects shared saying, Hey, win tickets to the last show at the Irvine Meadows Amphitheater. So I decide, you know what, screw it. I'm going to enter, share it, and because uh, that's how you enter. Uh, put in my email address and all that, and, you know. I think nothing of it. I think, you know, I, I never win anything. <laughs> I'm probably not going to win this. So, that, I entered that at what? So long ago. That was like September 19th that I entered, I think. And, uh, next thing you know, two days before, October 5th, I'm there at rehearsals for the cabaret I was supposed to be in. And I got an email from this guy who I forget his name now. But thank you for the email, <laughs> like seriously. And he told me, hey, you got runner-up prize. So you're not going to get the exclusive meeting grade. You're not going to get the VIP tickets. But you are going to get two tickets to the show. So I'm like, that's fucking badass. I'm going to fucking take it. And so I immediately respond to confirm like, hey, yeah, I want the tickets. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, it was a crazy night. Uh, I woke up pretty late that day probably around 12 or 1 something like that and uh i just wake up get ready take a shower get dressed all that and i'm like struggling to find the ride and then my brother says you know what screw it. i'll take you all right as you can see from the past clips and uh let me just tell the story of that crazy ass night 
So I wrote it down here because I, I know I was forget and I'm bad going off of the top of my head because I start to tell there a lot and slur my words like right now. But yeah, so story time. So we're driving along the freeway and we're about to get out, uh, get off at the ramp. And we go into the next lane to exit, of course, and bam, traffic jam. So we're there for like 30 fucking minutes waiting to get off the ramp. And we're there until like 7 o'clock. Now the All-American Rejects, who I'm only going there for, like I'm only going there to see them. I'm not going to stay for A Day to Remember or Blink-182. I know I should stay for them because they're badass bands, I hear. But yeah, I just, to, in order for my brother and everyone to get back home safely, we were supposed to leave right after the All-American Reject uh, set. So it's 7 o'clock. Five minutes before they're set, mind you. And I just tell my brother, you know what? I'm just going to jam over there. Now, earlier I had said that, like, because we were waiting for about 15 minutes. And I'm like, you know what? Might as well just walk over there. And he's like, you're not down. I'm like, I opened the door. I unbuckled my seatbelt, opened the door. And he's like, man, you're crazy. I'm like, well, whatever. And I close the door and say I'm not down. <laughs> but, yeah. At this point, I'm like, you know what, screw it. I need to get there because if I don't get there in time, I will fucking be pissed that I missed the opportunity to watch this band I have loved since I was a kid. And he's like, just be safe. And I'm like, if there ain't no clowns over there, I'm Gucci, okay? So I run with Fly Lice as fast as I can, as fast as I can to get there like about a mile away okay a mile away to get to this band and so i hear a already playing dirty little secret off in the distance because that amphitheater is loud as hell and i hear them playing dirty little secret so i run my ass past these people who were smoking and they fucked up my throat because now every time i cough i'm coughing now and i'm fucking like phlegm <laughs> And so I end up getting to work all wheezed down and shit with Fly Lice, who fucking has asthma and still ran with me. Fucking thank lord he didn't pass out. And so we get, I get my tickets and we like get in line and run in. At this point, they're already past Swing Swing uh, that we heard them playing in the parking lot. And they're playing It Ends Tonight. So we're like singing along as we're running to our seats. Because I don't, I've don't, i never been to the Irvine Meadows Amphitheater before. So I'm trying to desperately find like where the fuck are the seats. <laughs> you know, so I get past all the merchandise, all the, the little things like that. And I find my seats. And so we just stay there, have a bomb ass time. And the next thing you know, apparently a tow truck... Got, uh, hits my brother's car and I get that text like right after the set was done and uh, so we had to like me and Flat Ice we just jammed back we we hurried back as fast as possible to get back to uh, my brother's and then it we end up having a flat tire and all that so we couldn't even take the car home that night because we didn't have a spare and so we end up just uh we end up just deciding you know what we're gonna take the bus it's gonna be like a four hour trip to get back to los angeles from irvine but we end up deciding you know what take the bus so we take two buses and uh i decide you know what screw it i'm gonna call my aunt and uh so we stop at mcdonald's waiting for my aunt and we're just like there just sh shooting the shit ch uh, chewing the fat and all that and my aunt ends up coming and we just we just end up going back trying to get the car which doesn't have a spare tire on it we don't have a spare tire on us we thought the car had a spare tire on it and it ended up not having a spare tire so we just get some munchies get in the car and just jam back home just singing a whole bunch of songs like we were on the way there just having a lit ass time and we just got home like that. We got home like around 2.30 in the damn morning. It was fucking hilarious. But yeah, guys, that that's pretty much what happened there. Uh, before I make this video any longer, uh, I'm going to show you the pictures I took before I show you the video. So 
There's the pictures. But yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed the pictures. Now, uh, the pictures and the videos aren't that great quality, but, I mean, just understand, you know, you can clearly hear my voice singing in the background more than you could probably hear Tyson Ritter's voice. But that's just because I was having a good time, so you know what? I don't even care anymore. Like, I had a good time, guys. Just, you know... These are the pictures and the videos I took, so, I mean, I had a good time, so, hope you enjoy the videos. I way to sort of participate in the society sometimes is just to not give a fuck. But that's, like right now, this is the last fucking church in the world that's non-denominational, and everybody comes together for one fucking reason, and that's because music spoke to you when you had your fucking pure hearts open, and you didn't judge, and you didn't
just watched uh, the All American Rejects and we're gonna go home now so till next time guys I'll see you later. Yeah.